Hello boys and girls. We're going to be doing pages 98, 99 in our Reader's Notebook, Grade 1, Volume 1. And this one is to practice for our spelling test. And I'm going to make it nice and big for you now that we're on it. And we're going to practice the words, first of all. You'll be tested on these tomorrow. This one says will. And it's the trickiest one because it has two L's that make the ol sound. And you have to remember. This one says in six b egg big s it sit and did d id. These are two challenge words. Trip, trip, and grin, grin. I've had first graders a long time, and this, these are challenge words. You will have to study how to spell trip and grin. It does not come naturally. You have to practice trip and grin. Right, we are going to practice our, our basic spelling words on this page. And this is the number six, right, six. So we have to read both of these to see how to spell six. All the way to the end, six, six. It's going to be that one, s it, p, sip. That's not a sip, that's a six. So I'm going to circle it, that's my spelling word. And I'm going to spell it just like I'm going to spell it on the spelling test tomorrow. Let me go ahead and change colors. So this is pointing to this box that says in. That is so easy, boys and girls. Which of these words says in? And it's showing you how to spell in, right? The one that has I-N. Well, that could not be easier. Let's circle the word in and spell it like we're going to spell it on our spelling test. I. I spells I. N. In. Okay. And note that all of our spelling words have an I. Every single last one of them has an I in it. This is a spelling word test that only has short I sounds. Okay, here is a man. He's going to sit in his rocking chair. Sit. S no. That starts with the F sound. S it. It's this one. Let's circle the word sit and spell sit like we're going to spell it tomorrow. S that's an S. I t sit. Did you write the word sit? And look at there's two bears and one is big. Big. Hey, both of these words have a B and a G. The only thing that's different is their vowel sound. Let me see. I says I, so let's sound that one out. B ig. Big. It's that one. This one says b ag. Nope. Circle the word big. Write the word big, b, that's a b, e, g. Now we're going to write our spelling words that rhyme with each of these words. So this one says hid. And I'm going to look for an id at the end of one of these words to see which one rhymes. That's i, l, l, i, id, right here. Did. Did and hid rhyme. D id d that's a d d i i did d d did okay next one says fill and it ends with i l l we're not using the beginning sound when we're trying to find a word family we're only looking past the beginning sound to the ending sounds and that's i l l so I'm looking up here for I-L-L, -L, and there it is. That spelling word has two L's. It's will. Phil rhymes with will. Okay, so now you should have practiced. Sorry about that. You should have practiced writing the word will. Give you a minute there since I was blocking that from your view.
Okay, boys and girls, we're going to be doing commas in a series again. So the rule is that if you have three or more words in a list or in a series, then you're going to put commas between them. And a, an example might be, let me give you an example. Like if I were to say, our cats play, eat, and jump, play, eat, and jump are a, a list of things that they do, a series of things they do, and you have to separate that list with comma. So our cats play, that's the first word in the list, so we're going to put a comma after it, eat, we're going to use this word, and jump. So for three words in a series, we only need two commas and the word and. So we're going to just do this. This is not something you can ordinarily do independently, so it's a good thing Mrs. Gillum is helping you. Okay, so we're going to read the list of words, and we're going to write a sentence that uses these words um, and put the commas and the word and where they belong. So it says, my dog can sit, run, beg. So we're going to write, my, we want that to say, my dog can sit, run, and beg. So write the first word here. My dog can sit, comma, and there's a little finger space, run, comma, little finger space, and beg. Looks like they didn't give us a lot of space there. So we did it. My dog can sit, comma, run, comma, and beg. I like to, let's see what I'd like to do. Sing, read, draw. Yeah, I like to do those things. But I'm going to say I like to sing, read, and draw. And so let's put our commas where they belong. I like to, I have to write the three words, sing, comma, finger space, read. I'm writing it super skinny. Can you guys write your super skinny too? Because it won't fit otherwise. I like to sing, comma, with the finger space, read, comma, and draw. I'm going to write their word, and, and the word draw. And again, it went past the point where the handwriting lines ended, and that's okay. We're just going to be resourceful and use this space over here to finish. Okay, next. And if, it, if you need to pause the video to write these words that were in the list, do that. A frog can, let's see what a frog can do. What's the list of things he can do? Hop, swim, and eat. So I'm going to write down the list of things he likes to do, and I'm going to put the commas and the word and in the correct place. A frog can hop comma, and I put a finger space, swim, comma, finger space, and eat, period. A frog can hop, comma, swim, comma, and eat. All right, and now we have one left. A cat can, these are the three things that cat can do, run, play, nap. So let's start writing our words. A cat can run, and you see how I, I am starting right where the handwriting line begins? I have to do that or I'll never finish on time. A cat can run, comma, 
play. Comma. And nap. And nap. And I'm done, so I'm going to put a period at the end of that sentence. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. If you have to pause so that you can finish writing, that's okay. And no, you don't have to write this. This was just an example. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let's see. We're going to go ahead and practice our spelling words again, it looks like. Actually, let me just smell. Let me just, one, two, three. We'll go ahead and start a new video because this one's already 11 minutes long. Toodaloo.